I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, Six Pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video, and this is another paid request. This time from John Zero Cool. And for those interested in requesting pretty pretty much any type of videos, feel free to send them either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is an interesting topic because John asked me which is better, or Commando, or Rambo First Blood Part Two. Because they're both 1985 one-man army movies where it leads to your hero being shirtless and the ultimate badass. Number one, I know most people will choose Commando. And I can understand that because it's more straightforward, you know, fun movie, the one-liners. And let me get this straight. I love Commando. No matter what I say in this video, I love Commando. I love the one-liners. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's one of my favorite Arnold films up there with you know, Predator. Put the knife in me. You know? Remember so I promise I'll kill you last? I lied. I eat green berets for breakfast. Right now I'm really hungry. You know, I love Commando. And yeah, I know most people will choose that, but for me, in my opinion, I choose Rambo First Blood Part 2 as m my favorite of the two. I mean, I love this film to death. I think I called this once the quintessential action film. Although, funny enough, this is my favorite movie ever. <laughs> Especially the, the work print mixed in with theatrical. I love this film to death. But, like, to me... I consider this a quintessential 80s action movie for a number of reasons. Commando, I think, is a very fun cartoon. And that's not, again, a snide remark against it. It's a kick ass movie. But while I think Commando is a very fun cartoon, I consider this more of a real movie. As weird as that sounds to people it's still over the top it's still not realistic but i this feels more like a real movie compared comparing the two because i feel a bit emotion with this film like commando it's fun and you laugh and smiles i st i feel a bit of emotion in this because some people complain about the politics or whatever stolen puts into it I actually prefer it. I actually really like it because when you have this type of film, to me, I get drawn even more. Commando is a film that will wink at you while Rambo 2 doesn't do that. And I guess, which do you prefer? I prefer, and I love Commando for doing that, but Rambo 2, I prefer it taking itself seriously. No matter how, yes, outrageous Rambo goes back and wins Vietnam. 
Vietnam War Part 2 Rambo wins it, but how serious it takes itself, I find that endearing. And I wish more films would do that. And I think there's some really good moments, like when Ko dies, and he's sad about that. I feel for Rambo. And when it gets to that moment where he's buried Ko, and it's the rain, and there's the mud, and he goes for his crossbow, and he rises up, I feel that emotion that I just, I don't feel in Commando. I'm not saying Commando needed that. To me, it works because it's his own film. And yeah, I think it works well. You can watch them both back to back and it still becomes their own movies. But moments like that with Rambo rising up and the, the rain and the mud and even the speech he gives at the end with Richard Trenna, I like that speech. I don't live, John, day by day. I, I feel a bit more emotion with Rambo too than I do with Commando. I think the music is much better in this film. That's one of the things of Commando. I don't mind the score, but the score feels like a ripoff of 48 Hours that James Horner did. Jerry Goldsmith did one of the best action scores of all time. This score is phenomenal. This score is amazing. Fantastic. I can't praise Jerry Goldsmith's score enough. It makes the action scenes and set pieces even grander, even bigger, even more eventful. Whether when he's gearing up with the C4 tipped explosive arrow, whether when Ko is saving him from being electrified and he's throwing grenades and machine guns. Even when he's gearing up and you see him you know, put his stuff in his gear on. Like Jared Goldsmith's score just gives you that adrenaline rush. So I definitely think this has more emotion to it compared to Commando. I think it has a better score. I think this has a bigger scope. What do I mean by that? Because of the variety of action it has, where you're able to have the scene on the boat, and the boat is being shot up to shit, and he's maneuvering, and he gets the rocket launcher, and the other boat explodes, and he's hanging for dear life because someone's choking him, and he stabs him, and he jumps out as it explodes. You have that set piece. He gets a fucking helicopter and blows the shell of an entire fucking bad guy village. And you have that variety of action, which you don't have in Commando. Commando, it's punch, kill, punch, crack his net, punch, shoot. I did nothing wrong with that. It's badass in Commando. But you have the stealthy action, whether with the arrows or with the hiding in the mud, knocking people off one by one, the great image with him coming out of the mud and... I said iconic moment, hit in the mud, and you know you have the stealth stuff, but then you also have the badass coming in with M60 and the helicopter bits, and you have a helicopter versus helicopter fight, dog fight, a blown up a helicopter with a fucking bazooka. I said more big, grander action set pieces, and then more variety. You have machine gun, but you also have like. More unique weapons. Like in Commando you have the unique weapon of the that cool looking rocket launcher that has four missiles. But here that C4 tipped explosive arrow to me is one of the coolest most unique weapons in action film history. And you know, to blow up a bad guy with a C4 tipped explosive arrow is pretty fucking badass. Pretty fucking badass. And even... If they're trying to have a... I don't know if they're trying to have a love story between 
Arnold and the girl in Commando. I guess they weren't because it's not like they kiss or anything. But if they were trying to do that, if it made more believable sense in this, does it actually something comes of it? And I'm the type of guy that you don't need that in every film. But it's like in Commando, it's like they are, but they aren't. Here, they did choose one, and you know, ends you know on a sad note, which leads to Bramble kicking some fucking ass. Both have good supporting cast. Like this has Charles Napier, uh, Stephen Burkhoff as your villain, uh, Richard Crenna and Commando. You got Bill Duke. You got oh, what's his name? He was in the Road Warrior. Can't believe I forgot his name. You know they both have good cast. They both have a lot of fun action. They both go, go at a good pace. They're both fun to watch. It's a great double feature. But again, for me, the bigger set pieces, and also this felt a bit better technically made film. Because at Commando, I noticed more mistakes. For example, when <clears throat> Arnold kills the guy lets him go. I let him go. The guy's car has been flipped over. When Arnold pushes it over and they drive away, the side of the car is now fixed. Now magically fixed. At the end, when Arnold is throwing grenades and people are blowing up, you see the flippers. See, at the end of the film, just they have this thing that they put on the ground and they put dirt and leaves on it. So when people fly up from the explosion, they do this thing where a guy gets on it, it flips up. You actually see the flippers. And I've seen that a couple times throughout the film. And that kind of takes me out of the movie for a, minute, for a few seconds. But I get back into it because Commando's badass. But I think this is a better technically made film. So the technical aspects of it the bigger scope, the bit more variety of action and set pieces, the cooler weapon, the C4 tipped explosive arrow, the you have in stealth, but you also have the badass moments. You're blowing up the bad guy with a C4 tipped explosive fun. The again, this felt more like a real movie, or at least trying to be a real movie, trying to be a real film, trying. Not winking at the audience. I think also nowadays so many movies try to do that. Like Commando does it well. That's the difference. Commando does that well. Because Arnold is being serious. And is. But the entire movie is kind of a wink. And I guess for me. If you're asking me which I prefer. It's fine having humor in your film. I mean this film has it. With Wilford Brimley's character. But. I guess if you're asking which I prefer. I prefer. A f action film taking itself seriously. As well as being badass. Um, and plus the, the score. Like for me. I know I'm alone in this. But I will always. A uh, commando. Classic film. Love the film. But if you're asking me. Better. It's always going to be Ramble for Blood Part 2. Just how, how it is for me. Which is why, I, even though I don't have a VCR, why I bought this. Because, you know, they have Ramble 2 on VHS. One of my all-time favorite films, to me, I consider this the quintessential action film of the 1980s. But that's just my opinion. I know like my friend Mike OCB. He would disagree. But hey. There's nothing wrong with disagreements. So. Yeah. Love this film to death.
love Commando, but again, what John wanted me, which do I pick more? For me, Rambo First Blood Part 2. You know, I, I like both songs at the end. I think they work for what movie they're they're making. For what movie they're, you know, the end song of Commando or this. I think they work for their subject matter. So yeah. I don't know what else to say other than thanks for watching. Take care. And we will see you guys later. Bye-bye.